Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. Welcome to Virtual District Line Phase 3. We showed this off on our stream just previous to myself recording this. Very, very well uh, appreciated as well uh, to the team for actually allowing me to do so. Really, really proud to show it off and it's a stunning piece of work, it really is. So, as I say, we've streamed it, I want to do another video, I wanted to get it onto YouTube just for anyone that missed it and just to show you guys what uh, a magnificent, magnificent piece of uh, route this is, it's stunning. Anyway, right, let's actually get on with the driving, let's go and have a little exploration of the new part of the route. I'm going to go over some bits and pieces along the way, I'll show you bits and pieces as well that I, I really, really like with the route, I'm just going to just show it off really, in its, in its glory. The route does come with the R49 stock as well. I will show you that off at the end of the video. I'll just quickly take you for a quick look around the model. Um, we're going to drive on the C69 for this scenario, only because the, the scenario to get to the other end of the route is quite long. It, it starts off at Richmond, so I wanted to keep it straight to the point and show you the new stuff, really, on this one. Right, Circle Line Controller. Thanks for picking up the service, driver. Prepare your train and let the passengers on, departing at 060900, then all stations to Oldgate, where you can take your meal break. You'll be running to a tight timetable, so keep an eye out on your ETAs and your book departure times. And if the train panel is not lit, or hit escape and click restart. That was alright, because I know I've already checked that. So we're currently on one of the previous sections of the route. Oh. There we go. Right, doors open. Doors are shut, some lights on, and away we go. So we're leaving uh, High Street Kensington here. Next stop's going to Gloucester Road, and then after that, we are into the new section. So, again, this is the C69 stock which came with the previous version of the route. So once this route releases, it will be available at Backdated Train Sim. There will be a link in the description uh, once it all goes live. Hopefully, it might even be live by the time this video goes up. If it is, it might even be out now. Who knows? I don't actually know at the moment, but it isn't out as of when I recorded it. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. I will get the link in the description as and when it is needed. But if it's there, do download it. It should be anyway. I got caught out by the signal on the stream. <laughs> I was very, very minuscule, borderline spadding. There's a signal on the left hand side. We just doors are shutting now for this. Signal should change any second now, it's just going through past that now. There we go. So on this uh, extension to the route, it comes with 15 new stations to call at, 14 of which are custom assets. Uh, the only one that hasn't been custom created is Oldgate that uses the Metropolitan one uh, from the Just Trains route. Which is, by the way, Metropolitan line is a heavily required requirement. So you need to make sure you do have that. Now the guys do state um, for the better option is to get the um, the bundle with the S7 plus one because that is actually, uh, the unit on there is used on quite a lot of the scenarios. That is the version they use. So just bear that in mind. Just checking some on here. I got cab lights there, all right. I don't need them. These saloon lights, I can't really know where the saloon light button is. Hang on, is that it? That's saloon heating. Saloon light is on. Has that put them on? 
know if it has, to be quite honest. Maybe it has, I don't know. Hard to tell. Anyway, let's go, go, go. So, South Kensington is the next stop. So, what we're going to be calling that off now is South Kensington, Sloan Square, Victoria, St. James's Park, Westminster, Embankment, Temple, Blackfriars, Mansion House, Cannon Street, Monument, Tower Hill, and Oldgate. There is also Oldgate East and um, White Chapel on the route. I'll try and fly to them two stations for you if it allows me to get that far. Just to show you them. I'm going to try for a screenshot here because this station. Or maybe not actually, because them lights, that's actually, uh, I think, possibly a JT asset that has some missing textures on the night lights, so I'm going to take a screenshot. Rather annoying. But ignoring that building, just how stunning is this station? This is beautiful. Really is and for a freeway route, it's it's staggering. Just the sheer amount of detail has been put in. Just look at that. How cool is that? The attention to detail is it, it's, it's brilliant. They've done a really good job. I was staggered. What I did was, when I first loaded the route up on Thursday, when I was sent it out, I, I, I wanted to get familiarised with it and get to know it a bit before I streamed it and everything. So I took the, just for a general fly around and just seeing what I could see and what I could find. Just a bit of a exploration. And there was just, there wasn't anything that, I, that didn't, it just amazed me everywhere that I couldn't find anything to look at and think, this is, this is meh. It, it all... It, it was just amazing. The last 18 months that these talented developers have put into this, it shows shows how hard how hard they've worked and their dedication. My door shut. They're not shut yet. I'm, so I'm trying to drive off here. I think it was over train. But yeah, it just shows how how dedicated they are and uh, how much love they've put into the route. Cannot fault it. So our next stop is Sloan Square. Another lovely video uh, location as well. Another lovely video. I'm, I'm talking here because like, they, they did a video and it was at Sloan Square. I'm, I'm thinking of that video. They did a, a um, really, really cool video. If you're looking back data trades to Facebook page, you'll find that. Absolutely really brilliant. It's a lovely station, that's what I'm trying to say. They're, they're all lovely. Xavier's done a staggering job on them. And from what I gathered as well, it's all been done just off photo research and videos. Obviously with the pandemic and everything, it's just not been possible to go and actually physically research these stations. So to say he's done all this off just pictures, hats off. Hats off, indeed. How nice does that look? And it's been done such a way as well that it's not all custom, it's sort of it's kit bashed and the station themselves are custom but then everything around it's all been kit bashed in and built around it. Like all the walls and all the bridges and stuff like that, so all that lot has all been kit bashed in around it. 
But it works really, really well. Love the detail on the walls and stuff. All the tiles and that. It also uses uh, the VP track pack now with the electric uh, third rail stuff. That's one of the new additions, and for me, massive improvement, huge improvement. The, one of the drawbacks in the past for me was the old trap that was used, and it, I just wasn't keen on it. But this now is a, a whole new, fresh um, look on it. It changes the look massively. And it's actually the first shoot I've used with VP track. But it works so well, blends nicely, fits in well. The glow in the tool with the lights and everything as well. A re really, really nice balance with the uh, lighting and stuff. How dark tools are. Station lighting superb. That's all been reworked throughout the route. Love these little cut and cover cuttings as well with the girders going across. They're cool. But yeah. Um, it's not, it's not just this uh, part as well that's been brought into the route. Some of the existing areas have been revamped as well, like platform lofts have been updated and stuff like that. There's been various changes and tweaks to bring things together in consistency. Which is nice to see. So it's not just been this little section, well not a little section, but it's a big section. It's hard to... It's a short section if you look at it in miles, but there's a lot of work and effort being put into it and there's a lot of stations. If you're looking on the map and how many miles it is, it's not that far really. It's a lot of driving, there's a lot of stop and start. It's not a short drive. In this scenario, it's 40 minutes in its own. This is Victoria as well. All the ambient sounds as well, like man the gap and all that you hear, is really nice. I'm gonna get a nice screenshot there, I think. Potential. I'm actually driving with the keyboard. I find driving these are nicer with the keyboard rather than using the PVC for these. I'm just going to show you on the map what's new. So, what we're driving today, we're driving from. So, we started at somewhere around here. The road. We started at High Street Kensington. So we came down on the triangle here, took a left to Gloucester Road, and then the new section at South Kensington. So we're going down this way. So if you look at it, it's quite a lengthy section. It's only a few miles. It's, it's very deceiving. You, you look at that and you think, God, that's quite a few miles. It's probably about five or six miles in reality. I think something like that. Maybe a little bit more. But you get quite a lot of trains in there. You see a lot of AI. Tons of stations. We're ending at Oldgate here, but there is the other two stations at Oldgate East. Is it Oldgate East? Yeah, Oldgate East. And Whitechapel. So I should be able to fly to them too and give you a quick look at those as well. End of the run. We'll call it St. James Park next as well. I look forward to taking the next stop down there. It'll be quite a fun drive. From my knowledge, I don't think there's any S7 plus one or S7 scenarios, I don't think, on this section. <clears throat> Plenty for the new R49, which is nice. There's a really, really long one, looks like a fictional what if tour. I'm not overshooting this this time, I overshot on the stream. I nearly did it at the station. We did it. <laughs> I, I was very deceived 
uh, we're coming in tomorrow. I'm coming in, I was flying in. And I'm looking at the end of this platform. Oh, there's lights up there. I was going up to there and I thought, oh, I've gone past the fence. Before we knew it, we'd overshot. Yeah, really nice station again. Mind the gap. Westminster, one of my favourite stations. I love how it looks. I'm going to go over the uh, bits and pieces as well, so changelog. So we'll start off changelog for this route. Um, so there's many great details and fixes, changes and improvements to the route, operations, scenery in this version 3 uh, section of the route. Uh, in the interest of comp uh, competentness, competence, God, completeness, we got there, my God. The track and tracking changes across releases, we have summarised them all below. God almighty, I made a right fluff of that, didn't I? Mark will be screaming at his screen now when he hears that. Struggled. Let's just appreciate this station a second and I'll go over that. And I overshot this one instead. <laughs> More or less. So, track and scenery. Track's been extended along the lower circle from Gloucester Road to Whitechapel. Old gate added, along with the required portals to enable inclusion of circle and metline traffic. All new Vulcan Productions concrete sleeper London Underground track and juice rails have been added with new ballast. Scenery has been added from Gloucester Road to Whitechapel. Enhancements to the lighting at a number of stations have also been included. On the signalling side of things, you've got all new tunnel signals routes wide, upgraded to the latest JTLUL signal tunnel uh, style with the correct name plates and accurate locations near side wall near side ground and centre cess in the 6 foot all new signals uh, now display their aspect and signal number ID on the number 9 map so to do that you just number 9 zoom to the signals you see the actual code for each one now <clears throat> face display is also added to shunt signals to indicate the number that the route has set. Uh, route portals, we've got portals added to the old gate and white chapel sections to allow AI scenario traffic to be added from the upper circle outer rail and also from the westbound tools to the east of white chapel. Train and stocks. So all new red and silver R39 train stock has been added with prototypical six and seven car red and silver consists. The VDL stock operator manual version 3 has also been updated with the details of the R49 stock, so that tells you what each like con configuration, key bind stuff you can do with whatever on that train. station. A little uh, skylight there as well where the bit of uh, daylight comes through. So they are cut and cover station here so literally just under the, under the road level. Uh, scenarios. So all prior scenario hot fixes from V2 onwards are included as part of the phase 3 kit. Scenarios added to feature the new phase 3 parts of the route circle line and uh, DR and to feature the R49 stock in trains. On the documentation side, stock operator guide has been updated obviously now for version 3 for all the kit. Stations have been added to the route guide, terminus of Olgate, multi-move at Whitechapel, reverse removes at West Kensington, South Kensington, Embankment, Mansion House, Tower Hill, Olgate East. You've also got starter signal locations added to the station maps in the guide of the, uh, the manuals to highlight wrong growth starters and legal moves. Also detailed portals are listed and updated into the phase 3 uh, portals at Old Gate and Whitechapel. 
So that's the change logs. Route requirements, of course, as I said before, you need met lines. You need that to be updated to version 1.03 or whichever the latest one JTR at currently, which I think is the 103 anyway. But if you change in the future, just make sure you're always up to date, which you should do anyway. Um, recommended that you should, rather than just getting the met, you should get the met at the S7 plus one bundle. That way, you can have the train come to the S7 plus one is used in AI specific scenarios. Also, you need VP's track pack, which is the Juice Rail one. The London Underground TS uh, Heritage Stock DLC pack from Steam, and then some reskins for the S7 districts uh, destinations, S7 Circle Line destinations, Hammersmith and City destinations, and also an option of having the S7 plus one and eight sound mod from Nexus. All linked in the actual manual as well. So as I, as I say, the requirements mainly haven't changed. Just a, a couple of new bits. But the manual, I recommend you go and have a read the manual. It's, it's massive. I'm not going to go through it in there because it takes take me forever. But really do have a good read of that. There's some really interesting stuff and history and facts about the route as well. Really well set out. I, I appreciate how long it's probably been actually taken to write that out as well. I believe that uh, stuff like your yeah, Emma Clark top man scenarios they work as well, and also there's a I think there's another pack coming. Um, the team mentioned in the stream this evening, um, there's a volume two coming, so look out for that uh, as and when it uh, arrives and comes into fruition. So that was with all the announcements and stuff. That'd be nice to see. Blackfriars is our next station. I just love the tunnels. The, the materials and assets they've used for the tunnels with all the little cutouts and stuff are really cool. All the cabling down the side. Just amazing to see all the signals as they're coming towards you. You can see so many of them. They've took a lot of time and work in that, putting the signals in and making sure they all work correctly so they can do literally all the manoeuvres without any issues. You want to be aiming for. I've just stopped a little bit shy so you can see this. You want to be stopping at the diamond, so that is your stopping mark. And also, you may, you want to have that barrier just be after the driver's door. So that is, if you've got that half after that door, you know you're in the right position more or less on these. You don't you don't want to be stopping at these. These are for the S stock. So S7 plus one S7. SS means any S stock stops there. Really smart. For a three-way route, it's absolutely astounding how much you get. And it grows and grows and grows each time. You're just getting more and more. It's brilliant. It really is. To look at it, you think this would be pay where I'd, I'd love to gladly pay for the time and effort that's gone into this. On the underground, as always, it once you know your train goes past the speed sign, you can pick up speed. Of course, um, you need to be down to the speed. If it's a dropping change. This is a mansion house. This has got a bay platform as well, so turn backs can be done. This one's got the, uh, the huge hydraulic buffer on it as well, which is nice to see.
So these next stations are quite close to each other now, not that far from the end either. Only a mile. There's four stations in a mile, it's mad. <clears throat> I suppose we look down at on street view, there's probably a few roads between them all. <clears throat> a lot of these stations are well, like S-Bends and a lot of them are on curves. Compared to previous extensions where they've all been like on straight uh, straight sections. It's got this really cool old sign as well. Little British Rail logo on it as well. Nice little feature. Monument next. <clears throat> Not doing as well this time. I'm stream actually got I've got all ticked, but I've got across there. Not doing as well. Set for all get either. Obviously, the train's still in the sections. Let's just clean it now. A little station on the curve there. Tower Hill than Old Gate, sorry. I think the train that was in front of us actually just terminated Tower Hill. The one in the middle is the bay platform. roof there. Literally the route, it's literally what the route is like. It's like how the Met Line's built.
I'll come into there a little bit fast. This is all go. <clears throat> I'll do is in a second I'll take it for a quick uh or pause again, try and fly through the other two stations. So say this is the JT model that's been used here. Um, as mentioned before, the lofts that have been uh, done to go over the platforms, they've used them on this one as well. So you can see the texture is really nice, isn't it? They just bring up the old stations to life a bit more. <coughs> Not sure why they've actually used on this one, to be fair, but they've used them, they've used them. I probably just left it as it was, to be fair. There's already got platforms underneath. Right, so Olga East is down here. There's a this is a triangle as well. By the way, got a line that comes in as well off that way, heads in, joins up together here. Quite a dull station in itself. It's uh, quite a dull uh, decor, all sort of yellowy tiles. Really catches that underground feel though. The shadows down in the ground. It's really nice. It climbs up a bit as well. The line there. I don't know if it'll let me get into the other station. And this is St. Mary's station. Got this the spur off that goes towards East London line there as well. And then you would go this way around. Oh, yeah, that's actually let us come in. So looking good. But yeah, that, that track just does it so well. Really, really nice. Good job with it. And another lovely station that's been done here. So this is Whitechapel. Again, Xavier's done a top job on all these. He's really done a smashing, smashing bit of work. Very impressive. But for a free, a free route, you cannot argue with how much you're getting. And what's been done. I can't wait to see what uh, scenarios get put together for this as well. I feel there'll be some good ones. I hope we get a flood of them as well, <laughs> like we do with other routes. So that's over two stations. <clears throat> so, what we'll do now is we'll just quickly trans transition over to the R49 stock and we'll just have a quick look at that and just show you guys what that looks like uh, just for the back end of the video. So this is the, the beautiful R49 stock which comes with phase 3 of the virtual district line. Um, there's many scenarios in the route that contain this train so you do get quite a lot of running time with it. We would have done it for a video, it's just that this scenario is a bit longer than uh, what I have planned to do unfortunately but we have driven it in the stream so if you missed it do have a look back on the stream that's just happened. Uh, on the 14th of the 11th 2021 that will be on there for a, a bit yet uh, obviously that will disappear in time um, but it's a lovely train it really is and there's a bit of a story behind this as well um, the guy that created the train originally um, I think his name is R Scott in, in the TS dev filters um, he lost the files um, for this train I think on a hard hard drive failure or something like that I think the guys were saying but Luckily, Xavier was man he managed to um, I think acquire some of the files somehow. I think some files were found, and he managed to salvage what was available and finish the actual model off. And uh, here it is in the game. So he, he actually managed to uh, fin finish it and actually get it out there. I just love it. It's, it's such a unique shape. I love how it flares out a little bit at the bottom as well. I love the window, the, the hopper windows. Um, such a cool, cool shape. It's it's, it's an interesting one. I never even knew this thing existed until um, I saw it in the game. <laughs> never heard of it. But it's, it's lovely. It really is. It's, it's a cool one. It's got its own car. It's got the, it's got a passenger view, which is really really nice. It's got its own sound set, which is different to the other trains. 
and for a train I believe it's actually been restored in the uh, underground museum so I think you can donate to that as well I think um, so if, if it is if it's well then do, do donate because it may one day be able to run again it's got its own little tail lamp as well it's really cool but yeah it's, it's really nice what we'll do is we'll just take it for a quick drive down to the next station just so you can see it in operation and uh, hear it and all that comes in two liveries, it comes in the silver livery and the red livery. This was the latest livery I think as well, and then obviously the red one was it when it came into service. Um, I'm not sure how long these spanned in service, I'm not looking at something like 30 years or something like that. Oh, I'm not bothered with that. So, to get it going, press A. Puts the dead man handle him. Turn open the doors. Point to forward. Now, when you're driving this, it, can't, it, it it's caught me out a few times. Be aware when you press D to take the power off, that you don't go too far back, that you put the handle back into Dead Man's off, because it'll activate the brakes, and then you have to put it back into neutral, press A again to drop it down, then it'll activate and then start powering up again. It takes a bit of getting used to, just be, be wary of that. It's very nice. There's another lovely one to have in the uh, in the fleet for the route to uh, widen the scenarios and the different uh, types of uh, train we can drive. So that's off. You can go back one more, but then if you go press D again, you see here puts the brakes on. So put it to neutral, press the dead man's down, brakes come off, put it to forward, and then you can put power back on again. It's pretty simple. It's just you need to be aware on uh, on that. Don't get caught out like I have. Motor generators on and off. Uh, what else can we do? I don't think there's much. Control cab lights there. It's that one. Train lights. Trips overload. Set the trips. Wipers. There's a nice passenger view as well. It's lovely. Lovely train. Loads of different uh, positions as well. Different seat positions. Standing up as well, which is my favourite. You can see the train snaking around the curves then. I didn't take the brakes off then, that's bad. So I've got square wheels now. <clears throat> so just drive up to Kew Gardens, just so at least you can have a lesson. This train as well, they're all motor card and I believe it's aluminium body so it's really light so it's quite nippy. <clears throat> so as I was mentioning before, you can see the updates in the station platform loss. Just gives them a nice new lease of life as well. What we'll do, we'll uh, stop in here for a second and then we'll let the train drive off. And also, you can see there, there's the speed on the side there. I think it's actually done by Mercury. Is it Mercury? It's done by something. I'm not sure if it's done by. A... It's like something's feeding in there. A little needle that's going up the bar. There you go, that's the R49 that comes with the route. Just a quick showing there for you. 
I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, I do hope you enjoy the route as much as I have. It's it's stunning and well done to the team again for another fantastic route update on this fantastic uh, route as it is. I look forward to phase four. Thank you very much as always guys. Take care. Cheers for watching. Stay safe and we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.